Something I've been noticing about Mac. Anything about his health? No, I wouldn't know anything about his health because I don't see him anymore. Well, what do you mean you don't see him? He's been staying away from me. You make it sound as though it's deliberate. Oh, I forgot the cream and sugar. Honey, wait a minute. Hmm. I don't use cream and sugar. Oh, right. What makes you think he's been avoiding you? Because he doesn't come over and see Amanda anymore. What? He, uh, he sends Janice over instead to pick her up and bring, him over to, uh, bring her over to his place. Well, I thought that was just the one time. No, it seems to be standard procedure. She's on her way over here now. In the middle of the day? What's wrong with that? Well, isn't Mac at the complex? Oh, no. Janice says that he's uh, spending the day at home. Again? He's been doing that a lot lately. Well, maybe he's bored with working. Well, the story is that uh, he and Janice are honeymooning in their new house. Oh. Well, that explains it, then. Not to me, it doesn't. I just got back from a honeymoon. There's a lot to be said for it. Yeah, I expect you'd think that. Mm-hmm. Oh. And Louise, it's all right. I'll get the door. It's probably Janice. Hello, Rachel. Hello, Janice. How are you? Bye, thanks. A little chilly in here. Ah, uh, thanks. Hello, Janice. Hello, Ada. Mom and I were just having tea. You're looking well? Uh, well, thank you. I might say the same thing for you. Uh, Hawaii must have agreed with you. It did. Mm. Well, uh, Mac really appreciated the postcard you sent him. He took it to the office and showed it to everyone there. Oh, that's great. Wish I could get him to go away a place like that. Well, if you, uh, if you like, I'll give you the name of uh, our travel agent. Yes, well, I would like that, if you really mean it. Well, sure, I'll have Charlie give you a call. Okay. Well, I'll go upstairs and get Amanda ready. Oh, thank you, Rachel, I appreciate that. Don't mention it. Uh, don't forget to bundle up very warmly. It's very chilly outside. I won't. I uh, kept the car running so that it would be nice and warm for her when she got in. Good. Well, would you mind giving me some idea of when I can uh, go pick her up? Oh, that's uh, not necessary. I'll bring her back. Brooks and I don't mind. I insist. It's OK. OK. Well, when should I expect her back? Oh, sometime late in the afternoon. You know Mac. He always ends up playing a lot longer than he thinks he's going to. Yeah, sure. So uh, where did you stay in Hawaii? Well, right on Waikiki Beach. Uh -huh. We could see Diamond Head right from our window. I would really love to go someplace like that. How is the weather? Is it? Okay, honey, I've got to get moving. Yeah. Charlie, yeah, uh, likes to come home for lunch, you know? We still like to see a lot of each other. Rachel! What? What's the matter? Nothing. I'm just thinking about what we were discussing. Hawaii? No, why Mac's been avoiding me. Oh, Mac's not avoiding you, honey. He's just got other things to do. I don't buy that. Well, that's just your ego problem. There's no ego problem. Why is he making such a point of not coming here? He's always loved this place. Well, maybe now that he has a place of his own, he's changed. Anyway, don't worry about it. No, wait a minute. What? You think it's possible that Janice is doing all this? No, I don't. But it, it could be that she's doing it, couldn't it? Rachel, there's no reason for Janice to keep Mac from seeing you. Well, no reason we figured out yet. You are never going to be able to figure Janice out, no matter what you do, so quit trying. No, 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 no. What I'm getting at is, suppose she's keeping people in general away from Mac. Well, why would she do that? I don't know, but I just don't think this honeymoon thing washes. I... Honey, I hate to say this, but... You think I'm imagining things? Yes, I do. Well, that's your opinion. Would you like to walk me to the door? Yeah, okay. Old or
would you like him to call you right back? Surely, I'll take your number. Uh-huh. Yes, it shouldn't be more than 15 minutes. Thank you so very much. Hi. Well, it looks like you're swamped. Well, never too busy to see you. How are things going, Miss? Well, we miss seeing you since you finished your sculpture commission, you know. Well, I'll be over again when it's dedicated. I certainly hope you're not going to wait that long. No, I won't. Did I hear you say to somebody on the phone that Mac is out? Mm, yes, I did. Will he be back later? No, I'm afraid not. Tomorrow? No, he won't be in. Has he been around at all lately? No, Willis' uh, frame is handling everything. Don't you think that's odd? That Willis' frame is handling everything? No, no, that uh, Mac has been out so much. Yes, I guess that is odd, too. Liz, I'm worried about him. You mean I'm not the only one? You're worried about Mac, too? Well, I haven't dared mention it. You know, everybody always accuses me of interfering. Well, you have a right to worry. He's your boss. Well, I wish someone else would see it that way. Well, you know, everybody's protective of Mac. Well, so am I. That's why I'm worried about him. Have you been out to the house? Well, no, I wouldn't go out to the house unless Mac asked me to, and Mac hasn't asked me to. Has anyone seen him at all lately? Well, I've had to send a messenger out every day. There are things Mac has to sign, letters, memos, things like that. The messenger tells me that Janice always opens the door. Janice, huh? And well, that's rather odd, isn't it? Mac tells me that Janice wants him to take it easy. Certainly she let somebody know if he wasn't well. I suppose so. Well, you don't sound convinced. Well, you know, I, I couldn't stand Janice Frame when she first started working here. Yes, but I thought you'd patched everything up. Well, yes. I can't really say I trust her. Well, we certainly seem to agree on a lot today. I just wish I could tell you more about Mac. Right. Well, I would go out to the house myself if I thought for a minute that Janice would let me in the door. Well, why wouldn't she let you in the door? Oh, well, Liz, come on. You know, we don't have much use for each other. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. And, uh, then there's Jamie. I could send Jamie over, but I think he's out of town, and I don't know anybody else that I would trust to tell me what's going on. You mean you don't trust me? Well, yes, of course I trust you, Liz, but I wouldn't dream of sending you all the way over to Mac's house just to check on him for me. Why don't I go in place of the messenger? Well, that's an idea. Well, Janice would have to let me in. I would tell her it's important. Yes, but is there any reason you'd have to see Mac in person? Do you look at that desk? There are at least one dozen reasons for me to see that Mac. That might work, Liz. Well, you know, I... I don't fully approve of everything Willis has been doing, and I, I do think Mac should be told. Well, you're the one to tell him. Oh, I'm so glad I thought of it. So am I. Would you let me know what happens? Oh, yes, as soon as I find out myself. Thanks, Liz. I'll, uh, I'll wait to hear from you. Okay, Liz, but you could have phoned. Well, I wanted to give you a direct report. Oh, okay. Well, let me take your coat and um, sit down. Oh, uh, I'll just stay for a minute. You know, Sally's due home from the hospital, and I want to help her fix dinner because I want her to get right to her studies. You know, she's studying to be a nurse. And, well, you know how those things are. Yeah, sure. I don't know how to put this. Did you see Mac? It was very peculiar. Well, what happened? I don't know if I understand what happened. Well, Liz, it couldn't have been that complicated. No, it was very simple. Okay, well, just tell me what took place. I did not see Mac. Why not? He was upstairs napping. Napping? Uh, can I ask you something? Uh, yeah, sure, what? Is Amanda here? Uh, yeah, sure, she's upstairs playing, why? Uh, no reason. Uh, oh, you probably want to go up and say hello to her. But why don't we do that after we talk about a few things first? Oh, what things? Well, this business about Mac napping. Um, how do you know he was napping? Janice told me. Then you saw Janice. Janice answered the door just as she had with the messenger. Well, right. And, and she told you that Mac was napping? Does that seem strange to you? Mac has never taken a nap in his life. Well, that was my first reaction. But as a matter of fact, I've called the house the last couple of weeks and been told that Mac has been sleeping. 
Well, I stand corrected. He never took a nap in his life until he married Janice. Well, people's habits do change. Yes, but that's a peculiar habit to change. You really think so? Well, you just said it was peculiar. Well, I didn't think it was peculiar that Mac was sleeping. I mean, not after I thought about it. Well, then there's something else that bothers you? What? Well, it was something in Janice's attitude, her behavior. Yeah, what? I just can't put my finger on it. Oh, I wish you could, Liz. And there's this other thing. What other thing? Well, I already brought it up. Oh, right. Uh, well, why don't you bring it up again? Does Janice ever take care of Nancy while Ada is out? No, no, never. Well, I don't know what those clothes were doing there then. Uh, what clothes, Liz? A little girl's outer things were in the foyer. Oh, well, those are Amanda's. Tell me Amanda was upstairs. Yes, she's upstairs. Well, she went over to visit with Mac today. Uh, Janice picked her up and took her over there and brought her home. What time was this? Uh, 12.30, she picked her up, and about 4 o'clock, she brought her back. I was at that house at 3. Right. You were there when Amanda was there. Mac? would not have been taking a nap while Amanda was there. Of course you're right. And yet Janice, I heard her say distinctly that Mac was sleeping and was not to be disturbed. When Janice brought Amanda back, she said that Mac and Amanda had been roughhousing for hours. I don't know, Liz, I, I can't figure it out. Let's get back to the book. Have you finished it? No. No, I'm up to the part where the uh, wife successfully... ...poisons her husband. In my image, there has to be one difference in our plan versus, you know, the plot of Harry Must Die. I would have said. I want you to be with me at the end. <laughs> 